Okay, so here's a video I didn't really want to make. Here's my my 2000 Honda CRV, and I got a uh, transmission code. It did all sorts of bad stuff trying to get on the highway, which resulted in in it not moving and being stuck for a moment in time. And I'm going to try to pull out the control solenoid for the transmission, which are these three bolts. You can see I already took them out. There's one, two, and three, and unplug the thing. So I'm going to pull this up. There's going to be a screen on the other side, and I'm going to see how shitty this is to see if I can get away with cleaning this. Uh, I'll probably try to jump it and put power to it to see if I can hear anything happening with the solenoids. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll get this off here real quick. Okay, so here is after the removal of the part, and here is the part. So I think my next step now is to figure out how to get these screens apart. There was that little bit of dirt, but I think that might be pretty insignificant to the problem that's happening. So I'll see if I can pull this apart and not make a bigger mess of what I have. Alright, I was able to remove the gasket and the small filters that were on there for uh, ease of cleaning. Now I'm stuck with this. I haven't turned it over yet, but I'm kind of curious to see what comes out. So let's take a look at... I don't know if any of that's... It sure doesn't look the greatest. It's got some crap in it, so let me uh, I'm gonna spend a moment to clean this out, and we'll get back to it. Okay, so upon inspection, I have my my electronic cleaner here, and I just found the nozzle for it so I could shoot smaller areas. But uh, these appear to be jetted. The bottom ones that the screens cover are closed until power hits, and evidently when the power hits, it opens these top channels. So it, without applying power to this, I can't clean them with it being open. So we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to put the screens back on it and get it all situated to put back in the car and see if I can find some test leads to put some power to this and see if it's got any action to it. So I'll put that back together real quick and be right back. Okay, so here's the put back together product. I have to search online to pin this out to put power to it. So I'm going to do that and make some test leads and see what happens.